What's going on, you guys? My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how I mix my ratios for cleaning jobs. All right, guys, before we get started, make sure you come over and click subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment, even if it's just to say what's up. It helps the channel out so much. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's talk about ratios. Let's just say that this is a 50 gallon drum. I think it's 55, it may actually be 50, I don't remember. If this thing was completely full of sodium hypochlorite, SH, bleach, chlorine, whatever you wanna call it, of this stuff, this right here is what I use, guys. This is from Walmart. You can judge me, you can comment, tell me how I'm being stupid because I'm using it, it's $4 a gallon. I'm two hours away from all of the suppliers, two hours. So by the time I drive down and get one of these tanks, the cost and everything kind of balances out. Plus this is easier to store and it's safer to me. I can kind of, anyway, it's just, it makes more sense to me. But let's look at percentages. This is 10% sodium hypochlorite, okay? So if this was 50 gallons and it's full, completely full, of this, 10% sodium hypochlorite, this entire thing would be 10% because it's full of nothing but the chlorine, right? Full of the bleach, full of the SH. But if I cut this in half, say if it's 50 gallons and I do 25 gallons of water, 25 gallons of SH, I now have a 5% mix, which is what you want for roofs, okay? 10% if it's full, you cut it in half, we're at 5%, right? So if we cut that in half one more time, we get down to 2.5%. And so on and so on until we get down to where we need to be, right? So I'm hoping that that's making sense, guys. If it's 12%, if you're using 12% SH, and you cut, if it's a 50 gallon drum or whatever, it doesn't matter if it's 100 gallons. If you cut it in half, 50% water, 50% SH, no matter what the percentage is, it's half of whatever the percentage is. So if it's 12.5%, you cut it in half, you're at 6.25%. It's just that easy, guys. And if you cut it in half again and so on and so on. So anyway, that's how I get my percentages that I need, you guys. I hope that's helping somebody out there. So let's talk about when I use what mixtures, I mean, what percentages I use. All right, let's look at it. My house is vinyl siding, right? I stay around a 1%. I don't want it really strong because it doesn't take a lot for vinyl siding. Uh, if I have to do, say, a, a wood siding house, first of all, I don't touch it unless it's been painted. I don't mess with anything that's just plain wood or stained, any of that, because chlorine, bleach, whatever, does not like stain, it'll remove it like that. So painted houses, I still try to stay around a 1% mix. I may have to bump it up a little bit, add an extra gallon, an extra half a gallon here and there to make it a little stronger. Uh, jumping up to like fences and things like that. If it's vinyl, vinyl is vinyl, you guys. Um, I've noticed that the vinyl fencing seems to be a little bit more hard headed than the vinyl siding on the house. So you may have to bump it up a little stronger on it. Um, roofs, metal roofs, metal carports. Uh, I actually did a metal carport the other day and I used about a 3% mix and it turned out great. But for metal roofs, shingles, I'm at a 5% mix. That, that's just it, man. I go up there and I hit it. I mix a 50-50 ratio in my tank. So half water, half SH, and roll out, and it works great. And I haven't had any problems with that. Haven't even had any problems as far as killing vegetation except maybe a couple times. But they were like some real sensitive, like, petunia, I mean, little small little flowers or something, and that was that was my bad. Um, but, you know, you either you either succeed or you learn, guys. So if you have any more questions, I know you guys wanted to see this video and I hope I'm telling you the way it should be. Um, this is what's working for me. Um, if you have any more questions, leave me a comment. I'm on Instagram as well. You can send me a message there. Uh, just let me know how I can help you guys, man. I'm learning as I go and uh, we'll learn together. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you come and subscribe, man. We're almost at 500 subscribers. Let's go. Appreciate it. God bless.